Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. This will be for the week of the 9th to the 15th of September. 15th is my birthday, so let's hope there's some good things coming up for you guys this week. All right, let's see. For my lovely Libras, please spirit loyal hearts. Oh, sorry, that was a bit aggressive. Oh, interesting, you have the um, unfinished symphony. So that's interesting, and it's the same egg could be reconciliation especially if things were left on a you know in an unfinished way could be a need to fine-tune something what i mean is like if there is a little bit of a, not much harmony in your life at the moment between your connections i do feel like that's going to be resolved this week anyway loyal hearts meeting a soulmate having really loyal people and partnerships collaborations around you people with your best interest in mind maybe the unfinished symphony is about you try to do something alone but maybe now you need a partner and it will actually be better with somebody else same if you you know have had an argument with somebody things left on a weird term um mis like disharmony i think that there is reconciliation being on the same page but let's carry on. Let's see what's going on for you guys. For Libras. Daughter Spirit. Whenever this card comes in, I always feel like it's a spirit guide who's opening a door for you. That's what it feels like. But of course, it could mean that you guys are opening that door to spirit, maybe becoming a lot more intuitive. I think we've been saying that in a few of your readings. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it feels like... I've been saying to you before that your intuition is getting stronger. You may definitely be able to tap into mediumship or, you know, clairvoyance of some kind, clairsending, one of the clairs or all of the clairs, whatever, you're becoming psychic maybe even as well. Let's see what else is coming through for you, Libra, thought of spirit. But as I was saying, um, I mean, there's a dove bud here. Peace is being restored for you guys this week as well, which is nice. But again, somebody in spirit could be opening a door for you. So an opportunity or a new beginning. Um, maybe you prayed for it. Let's see. Libra. I don't know if like a mason or masonette. Like, of course, I think that's to do with the house. Like, I don't know. <laughs> maybe that's the door is like a house is a buying house or moving in vanity rejection libra soulmate and perfection rhymes camera has been doing this for weeks i need to fix it and i don't know how so anyway uh soulmate coming through when you already have loyal hearts is a really good sign that you are already with a soulmate or you're very very close to meeting your soulmate um coming through here so soulmates then you have perfection now, whenever perfection comes through, I always say that, you know, perfection doesn't really exist. If you're striving for perfection as a way to move forward and always constantly improve, that's great. But like, don't hold yourself or other people to like ridiculous standards, ridiculous standards. Having high standards is not ridiculous standards, okay? Because it kind of comes in with vanity where something's never good enough. And if you ever feel like that, don't worry, I'm not judging you here. But vanity is just a reminder to be grateful for what you have and to love what it is that you have already and what you've done for yourself already and then build off of that, okay? When we come from a place of like, I need more because people will look at me as somebody who's better, you know, who's better or, you know, I don't know what it is. These people want more because it gives them a higher status. It's, it's vanity. Their goals are not based on, you know, what they feel like they desire they're doing it because of what people will perceive them as so if you're it's a really good time to make sure that your dreams and goals are because you want those not because you want someone to see you a certain way okay because then we have rejection okay rejection is a part of life a rejection teaches us where we may need to improve or where we definitely don't want to go down anyways so um with with that with vanity when we're doing it because we want to look a certain way or be perceived a certain way, rejection can be rejection can be tough. Um, but when you're doing it because, I don't know, you're more connected to spirit, you're in alignment to spirit, where they're trying to get you to go, then you trust and know that rejection, okay, that, that door is closing because um, it's not for me. So I feel like it might help with your perception of rejection, okay? Right, anyway. Hmm. Vanity, rejection, soulmate, perfection. Again, I think you're just redefining what perfection looks like to you and what it really means to you and understanding that things might already be imperfectly perfect. 
as much as they can maybe improve, everything can. Um, just make sure that you are happy with what you've got currently as well. Even if it's a small thing, so just gratitude helps a lot. Right, anyway, let's see. Let's see what else. For my lovely Libras, some keywords or one keyword. I I said it plural and I knew that another one's going to come out. You have fear and surrender. Whatever you are fearful of this week, whatever fears come up, you've been called to surrender to them. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Fear and triggers in general really do teach us a lot in this day and age. Not when we were running away from a lion. Our fear taught us to run <laughs> and to save ourselves and for survival. But fear nowadays is not related to many survival things of course our modern day stuff but anyway there are still lions out there and there are still things to fear but in your case maybe something that you're fearing really isn't as big as it seems and your fear of it could be preventing you from moving forward so that's why they have surrender here as well i can release my need to control that might be what vanity is as well or perfection absolutely perfection is a way of controlling things right Things have to look a certain way in order for it to be perfect. Otherwise, I'm not perfect and people are going to reject me or, you know, whatever it is. When you feel certain feelings, I'm feeling in my heart, by the way, like I'm touching it. Not only because I'm speaking about feelings, but I have this like a tapping here. Definitely connect with your feelings. And when a feeling comes up, try to understand what fear this is. Um, this is. Is it a fear of being rejected? Is it a fear of not being accepted? Um, is it a fear of not being good enough? Like whatever it is, where is it coming from? And dive deep into what the fear is. Because when you understand it and what it is, you can work on it, right? Awareness is key a lot of the times, but so is action and surrender. But anyway, surrender and fear. Surrender to your fears. Understand them. Where is it coming from? Porcupine spirit, time for a beginner mind. I want another one. And stag spirit, so take the lead. Both of these about action taking as well, which is nice. So porcupine spirit is an interesting one. It says time for a beginner mind. So you could be starting fresh with something and that's good. You could be learning something new, for example. But it also is um, the animal itself is about like protecting yourself and having that you have protection around you. I feel like I have to say that. Right, and then you have stag spirit. Take the lead. This is like the emperor. Okay, so being your own boss or just taking the lead of your life, taking back control, okay, so it could be very important for you. Okay, sorry. Like I'm just sensing other things too and it's like I was getting a message for somebody like maybe um you can teach through example you know a lot of times we want to tell someone okay this is what you need to do but or if you're raising kids for example you know it's like not that i'm going to give you advice i don't have any but it's like uh, the kind of psych psychology around it is the same with people in general like when you shame someone you're not doing it enough and you're not doing good enough um or this is how you're supposed to do it why are you doing it like that like that kind of bring, brings in some shame it may cause someone to feel fearful about trying it again maybe that's what you've been through maybe that's why they're bringing it up so instead of doing that it's like hey actually if you tried doing it this way <laughs> i'm like kind of like when you do it with kids like when you lead by example people will follow take the lead people will follow. So if you're trying to do anything that has impact to others, I don't know why they're bringing it up, but hey, here you go. Right, and time for a beginner mind is kind of like that child too. So you have time for a beginner mind and take the lead. They feel like two opposing energies with that analogy. You being the parent and the child. Some of you are breaking generational traumas, by the way. If you are becoming a parent, for example, and you've been through a traumatic childhood, it kind of feels like you're you're learning as you're teaching anyway well that could be anything right libras let's see three cards please for the overall energy for my lovely libras this week queen of swords king of pentacles you already have a lot of people cards here and the ace of cups so there is some love here 
you're definitely focusing on your love in general in your life. Um, that dove bird is very similar to that daughter spirit here. So there's a lot of self-love coming through, a lot of focus on your emotions, finding peace, okay, um, which is great, and also finding love. So Queen of Swords, coming up with the Ace of Cups is challenging because the Queen of Swords is not an emotional card. In fact, she's been through a lot of pain and she is protecting her her heart by completely guarding it you know she likes to vet people before they come in she likes to um challenge and like she has a barrier up basically is what i'm trying to say you could have somebody here who is wanting to give you something but it does feel like it's a little bit of lack of trust because this is your energy by the way she's been hurt before right and that could be you you guys may have been hurt before maybe in financial situations because the king of pentacles is here i will clarify this because whenever people cards come up like this okay sorry they're just correcting me here so this week you are definitely going to be placing a lot of boundaries which is nice i think that is the same with the porcupine spirit you may be a newbie in some areas but you're definitely gonna place a boundary or people try to treat you a certain way this maybe even is an act of self-love now for you because maybe you didn't do that before libras are known stereotypically to be a little bit of people pleasers right um so then you also have the king of pentacles coming through so maybe this week you're also focusing a lot on your financial stability your assets your material wealth okay your career life maybe even as well and becoming grounded in that okay um i'm hearing putting your foot down which we can actually say about both of these are both about placing that boundary being assertive this week's important and that aligns with taking the lead but also focusing on love and a very soft peaceful energy as well over here so you have a balance this week. Um, it could also be a financial opportunity coming your way from somebody else as well. But let's see your energy for the week. Three cards for Libra. The Fool. Time for a beginner mind. Makes sense. Starting a new journey, a new cycle. Three of Pentacles, which is very nice. Underneath the King of Pentacles. So definitely is like a plan or a conversation about, you know, whether it's a conversation about building a plan with someone collaborating could definitely be the case here for some sort of financial gain could be a business project um any kind of project here that might end up either being towards you know financial windfall in the future or just towards like building a home or like having security in your life more for libra's energy ironic justice is here so is the Souza Four of Cups underneath the Ace of Cups. What's interesting is Four of Cups has that Ace of Cups in it, right? But he's not paying attention to it. Either that or he's rejecting it because he's like, meh. <laughs> but as we said, Daughter Spirit. Spirit is opening up this chapter for you. The Dove Bird is guiding you. And by the way, I kind of feel like I want to say if you're ever seeing white feathers or white dove birds, or white birds in general, there's something there for you <laughs> so interesting you're not yeah i think you're ready for a new beginning you know you are the fool here I feel like taking the leap kind of being in this like carefree nature i your your reading is very contradicting i think that you are having a lot of feelings emotions this week because you are taking a leap of faith and you have this childlike nature but then you also have the Queen of Swords, which is very protective and very caution, like cautious. Okay, taking a leap of faith is in your energy. Trusting in the universe. Then you have the Three of Pentacles, like we said. So collaboration, getting advice from other people, maybe financial advice, you know, like business advice, whatever it is. Um, building something, which is amazing. Then you have the Four of Cups and the Justice card. So bringing something into balance here. But I do feel like you might be rejecting something. And we have rejection here. Or maybe you're worried so much about rejection that you would rather reject something first before it rejects you. That could also be what vanity is. That's interesting. Because the Ace of Cups is here. It's a new love. It's new passion. It's, it's over. It's unconditional love, right? But you might be rejecting it. But it feels like the justice here 
might not be accepting it. <laughs> I don't know. Your reading is so confusing to me. I'm going to be so honest with you. So bear with me, Libras. Because I feel like your energy is kind of contradicting itself this week, which is fine. That's human. Human experience is complex. So it makes sense that a reading will be complex at times. You might feel a certain way, but you might take action in a different way as well. Okay. That justice feels like it's like, hey, straighten up make a decision properly like don't the four of cups is like feeling jaded or bored or you know would rather be up in his head in his imagination than to actually take action on or accept the things that come its way because you have this ace of cups coming in twice and this justice card feels like you saying hey hello wake up take that opportunity it's gonna be good for you it could also be a contract and maybe again in order to accept this contract, you have to find love within yourself. And what I'm saying here is maybe you put yourself t down at times. But I don't think I can do that. I'm not perfect enough. I'm not good enough at it. Um, but it feels like when you accept it, you have to kind of love yourself. You have to give yourself credit. You maybe even have love coming your way because of what it is that you're doing. I don't know. It's almost like giving yourself the opportunity out of love. And acceptance of yourself and that you are a great you are great at what it is that you do or you know accepting love from somebody else could be an act of self-love because maybe you reject love because you're afraid of rejection for example and don't think you're good enough or i don't know it has to do with that per perfection like we said before and afraid of rejection because maybe deep down you don't actually think you are good enough so when that opportunity comes your way it's like I think I might do something that, you know, might cause something to reject me. I don't know, or criticize me or whatever it is. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I I do feel like that Ace of Cups is that door to spirit. Any advice for Libra this week? It kind of feels like your higher self is actually like helping you, which is why we have that child and a and the adult kind of seen two of cups the death card and uh the six of swords i think this opportunity is about moving forward towards a, an emotional experience but one that will lead towards stability the six of swords is moving away from conflict from drama from chaos and is moving towards something much calmer and it's underneath this ace of cups and justice so justice will happen for you but it, you do have to move on first um, maybe take an opportunity or accept love into your life from even yourself in order to find that peace. Maybe it's peace. Two of Cups coming through. Maybe that's why the Queen of Swords is here and the Fool card. It does look like you're going to be jumping into um, a relationship with somebody if you haven't already. Um, maybe you were a bit cautious at first, but it looks like the, with the Fool card, you're going to trust in the universe. Maybe you've seen a lot of signs, synchronicities about this person that you're like, okay, screw it. Let me just dive all into it and not be cautious anymore and it does look like it's leading towards love or again collaboration or um, partnership with somebody two of cups is great for any kind of partnership it's really about you and someone else being on the same page you feel the same way it's a really good dynamic king of pentacles three of pentacles and a death card this feels good in a great way nine of pentacles and the sun card being here feels like financial freedom you have the star card underneath that and the, the nine of cups too so wish fulfillment is happening there is tra tra transformation. Whoa. <laughs> the transformation. <laughs> the death card is like major change. No going back from this. So whatever this uh, business project is or this plan or the stability coming in your life or financial stuff, whatever it is, you're absolutely going to have a lot of structure and stability and independence in your life, which feels amazing. It's going to change a lot for you, but it's amazing. Just a little bit of that emotional thing needs to have a little bit of work. But I think it comes down to loving yourself unconditionally. When you love yourself unconditionally, you're not going to hate yourself for the mistakes that you make and criticize yourself and then deny yourself opportunities because you don't think you're good enough for it. That's not unconditional. You cannot, you know, that's just not what it is. 
So you have to love yourself unconditionally first to believe that other people can love you unconditionally too. Otherwise, you're going to bring that trauma into relationships and feel like somebody doesn't love you even though they do. You know, that kind of thing. Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> your reading's a little bit of a mystery for me, but let me know how you think it resonates in your life. Only take what resonates. If it doesn't resonate, then that's fine too. These are general readings, you know, so made for a lot of people it's an energy so it may not make sense to you that's fine all right but anyway i love you guys i wish you all the best and i will see you guys next time all right